Yeah, this game does take quite a while to uh, boot up, by the way. Even on PC, I guess, people with, like, uh, nice rigs, I suppose, are having a little bit of issues for it booting up smooth. And it's like a lot of the performance is really involved with that as well. Like, it's just the game is really intensive on computers. I mean, I was, I was offered a key for PlayStation 4, for PC, or Xbox One. I went for Xbox One because usually the downloads are very fast. Like, the up and down, or at least the uh, uh, down is very fast on the Xbox, which is impressive. At least with their wireless bit there. Because that's wireless, and that goes like, you know, snap of the fingers, it's very quick. And so I was like, okay, I'll just do Xbox. But since I got the code for this... I've been getting nothing but <laughs> freaking 3.6 gigabyte updates constantly. I'm like, you're freaking kidding me with this. But enough of, enough of me being a uh, sour puss here. Let me go ahead and start playing this. Alright, so you can also customize commanders as well. So you can actually add some customization to how they look. Uh, several races here to choose from. Like some just have like really overly exaggerated like shoulder pads and all that. And all of them do look pretty cool in their own right. Especially the dwarves. Or the Devar. Well they look pretty. Like they're the coolest one. Uh, that's a pretty one. They look pretty cool rather. The assembly look cool. Kinda like the Borg. Or pretty much are the Borg. Vanguard, Syndicates... Okay, so we can... I'm looking at what they have for perks on the side there. Okay, I'll go with her. Recommended is that. I'll go with that. Kleptomaniac, apparently. Going what they recommend, because again, I don't even really know. Parents, okay. Yeah, it's actually it's like a little bit like D and D, but it's like a simulation game or an RTS to a point. Like, and I don't mind RTSs as long as they're you know really good. I zoom in. Yes, I may. Okay. Okay. I find someone that looks kind of close to me. All kinds of texture, decoration. They won't quite look like me at all, so I'll just eventually end up going to play as a lady. That's how stubborn I am. Like I, if I can't, if I can't find a character that looks good, you know, has like a good, like a hairstyle, or whatever, or. I could try to make my revent myself in the game. I go fuck it and just. Sleazy as I can be. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, we'll go with the man bun, I suppose.
Look like Grown Qaddafi over here. Um, the hell is that? Okay, skin color. What kind of colors do we have here? Pink. Okay. So you can't quite change the color of your outfit. <laughs> That's funny. The character's name is Donnie. And all kinds of symbols. We'll go with uh, with that. I kind of like that already. My cousin. Alright, so I'm gonna go here. Danny. Okay. Our last name, last slash nickname, we'll go with Van Dam. Oop, wrong button. Let's get emoticons. Oh, there. Evan. Okay, kind of like that uh, symbol right there. Secret technology, the race, blah blah blah. Kind of like how he looks. Kind of looks like a uh, like doctor from the future. Okay. Tutorial. We'll go with campaign because best way to learn is through campaign. The currents of the void shift around me. I can't me. really hear it too much. Follow my voice, my last possession. It looks pretty. My name was Empress Carminia. What happened here? And I was the last regent of the Star Union. We built a paradise on a thousand planets, a glistening web strung between the stars. But the cataclysm shattered all. Leaving our people stranded and alien to one another. Whoever you are, whatever you have become, it is time to leave this dark age behind and return to the worlds of your ancestors. Uncover our secrets, but heed our mistakes. And don't read the books or myths, whatever you fucking do. Forge a new empire, a new age of wonders. I think I'm watching the never ending story. Okay. It's like I can't Oh, the the custom characters are meant for like um We're absolute beginners. Okay, um, we'll go with... We're absolute beginners. Only resurrect a hero after winning an auto bat auto combat. Eh, we'll do that. Uh, beginner. Keep a beginner because I'm stupid with this. Uh, we can customize the commander. Promethean Assault Rifle. Kleptomaniac. Okay. Background. Okay, that's pretty cool too. You can actually have a good thing for your back, your emblem there. I'll keep the name on the character just because it saves time. Posture. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay.
Aww. That's their mouth? They're dwarves, basically. Aww. Make them as bulky as I can. Aww. Oh. Oh, he looks so pissed. Aww. We got a cape. No cape. We'll give him a cape. He has no skin coat. He, he, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing there. I know what to call him now. Tiny. Temper. Call them muffins. <laughs> Muffin time. There you go. My muffin Tim. <laughs> okay, we're keeping that. <laughs> He's muffin Tim. There you go. Explosions are the masters of creation. The Big Bang forged the universe, and the cataclysm carved the devar. Deprivation and seclusion did not hurt our minor ancestors. It only ignited the strength and craving for resources that still drive our current fold. Now, under the watchful eye of the Adamant Council, the Devar Consortia are locked in ruthless competition. Prestige and infinite riches versus poverty and eternal shame are our new stakes. I am the head of the Zelizu Devar Consortium. Before my rule, our house was weak and complacent with its position. I sparked ambition in my people. The Zylizo Devar rose rapidly in station, but the Adamant Council still looked down on us. Today, everything changes. Our prospectors have found a resource-rich world of Chimera Glacial. Once the Council grants us mining rights, the Zelizu Consortium will finally attain the status it deserves. The Council is demented! These bumbling fools granted our claim to the disreputable Razved Consortium. We found this world. By traditional claimant rights, it should be ours. It's clear to me that the Council will never trust us. So. We must carve our own path. They will not stand in the way of the Zelizo, and neither will Volodny Razvet. Come on, little guy, we're gonna get that planet back together. The world of Chimera Glacialis lies below us. Its stormy exterior hiding riches just ripe for plunder. As we descend, these storms will interfere with our ship's navigation systems. I doubt it will be the last obstacle hiding this planet's secrets. This planet's secrets. Come on, little guy. I think the people who are just standing there right now technically have- Welcome, Commander. I am Ava your autonomous integrated virtual assistant. 
standard issue for every planetary governor of the Star Union. My messages will appear when important actions are undertaken for the first time. They can be reviewed at any time in the Imperial Archives. Okay. Because I am dumb as nails, so... Father, the environment, the encampment is settling as ordered, but there's not yet been any sign of a belt. Muffin Tim, there we go. Muffin Tim! One of the mining complexes of our ancestors lies dormant nearby. It should be shame to see that creation decay without purpose. We must assemble the f a force and reclaim the facility. With our prospectors deployed, we should see that uh, the work exploring and prospecting nearby sectors, it should benefit us to identify suitable settlement sites. Okay. The hell are you? Oh, those are enemies. Okay. Um, ironically, this, so far this isn't so bad, only the movement, because it's tactile. So it kind of clicks to a certain spot. Okay, so those are enemies. This is an army. Armies contain up to six units on a single hex, and are used to... Here's a my magic arm, style. Attack enemy armies and defend colonies. To move an army, select it, and then move the cursor to the hex you want it to go to. A preview of the route is shown, with a blue path to indicate how far the army can move this turn. Armies with multiple units can be split into smaller, separate armies. These are Marauder Guards. Having taken a location of value, they will remain there and protect it with their lives. Resource nodes are... Okay, and so we want it to... attack? Well, you know what? I want you, okay, I want you to attack that. I want you This combat preview is shown prior to any attack. Yep. Sort of. It's like a tabletop, a lot like Heroes of Might and Magic. Like, uh, Age of Wonders, it kind of based itself off the Heroes of Might and Magic's franchise. And it's kind of like a T RTS, but it's also like an RPG, so you have stuff like this. Commanders can choose to lead battles themselves using the tactical combat system. Health messages are but it does turn into a tactical RPG. To learn the basics of combat. The battle has started, Commander. The defending army always gets to act first. Follow. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I guess the, the learning curve with this one's pretty decent, too. During a combat turn, each unit has three action points to spend on using their abilities, which can cost between one and three action points. Regardless of cost, using an ability always ends the unit's turn. Each unit has active abilities that they can use during combat. Next to attacks, they have a guard ability, which increases the unit's defenses until the start of their next turn. Guard abilities always cost one action point. Okay, so I'm gonna stand here. A friendly unit has moved into cover. Cover protects the units by- I get it. Alright. Uh, 
Commanders and heroes are some of the strongest units in any army, capable of wielding a variety of powerful weapons and even piloting vehicles. They level up as they gain experience, allowing them to unlock new abilities and buffs. Okay. All right. Like he has a limit. pad down to conclude the turn uh, and turn a unit attacked from the sides or a unit has been stacked Jesus Christ with that Do damage to that. So you can destroy terrain too. And they're killing me. Units with melee attacks will enter melee overwatch at the end of their turn, denoted by a red. with melee attack. Hit that one. Most abilities that are used on enemy units have an accurate. 